I talked to all my buddies, all these D1 head coaches, these Power 5 head coaches, and I, the, the talk is, man, that the, the NCAA is, A, going to remove themselves from Power 5 football once these power conferences get established, or B, um, do these Power 5 schools that create these power conferences just get rid of the NCAA as their governing body and become their own entity controlled by Greg Sankey and the SEC? That's what it looks like going to happen. Well, the big play is going to be basketball. So if basketball, you know, the NCAA is the oversight committee for, for football and basketball. You know, all this positioning for football will end and then basketball will be positioned properly. You'll see teams like UConn be brought into leagues simply for their basketball program. You know, uh, programs like Kentucky and Kansas and North Carolina and Duke are, are extremely valuable for their basketball. But there's only a few teams um, that are you know, valuable in the basketball, but March Madness is a multi-billion dollar entity. So the first step is, you know, they're going to get down to four conferences where we're at. Eventually it could be three, depending on the grant of rights of the ACC, which is pretty strong. And teams would have to forfeit roughly about $300 million to leave. Um, you know, if it gets down to two super conferences eventually, uh, or three super conferences eventually, then they start to engulf basketball. The NCAA is gone. And then you're going to have – right now, Greg Sankey and the SEC, of course, are, are known as the, the biggest, most successful, the Big Ten right behind there. Um, you know, you're, you're going to have probably a commissioner situation if you get down to three. Uh, and then you will have, you know, a lot of corporations getting involved in dictating. I don't know if you're going to – you can't really have team ownership like you do in the NFL because how do you own the, the University of Michigan football team? Um, and the president at the University of Michigan or Ohio State or USC, all these schools, they make decisions based on bottom line and numbers. Um, you, you're going to have to have a governing body put in place. You're eventually going to have to have a, um, a players union uh, because kids are getting paid now. So you're going to have to professionalize the entire college football and college basketball world and, and make it as a similar to a minor league feeder system for the NFL uh, mm -hmm. for college football. And we're, we're not close to that yet. This is just part of the positioning. Uh, you're weeding out the weak right now. You know, so your Oregon states and your Washington states are the victims of the Pac-12. I think Stanford and Cal will land someplace. Uh, if the ACC gets disbanded, you know, your Wake Forests uh, of the world are in big, big trouble. Um, and then it's going to be interesting to see if some teams get sloughed off. You know, what does the Big Ten do with Rutgers, which has contributed nothing? What does the Big Ten do with Northwestern, which is kind of an embarrassment right now? Uh, once you start to slough off teams, you get these multiple super conferences. Then you can actually make this a professional business organization. Uh, the NCAA has probably got about five years left, and then they're gone. But who steps in, and how do you govern what's supposed to be academic institutions playing sports?